In our earlier recording, we have seen a very simple uh, application of Kramer's rule. Now here, we'll, we'll try to apply Kramer's rule in economics. This is a very, very simple national income determination model in which one is that y is equal to c plus i plus g, okay, where, where c is consumption, i is investment, and g is government. Um, these, supers, these subscripts 0 with i and g, they are actually trying to tell that these are exogenous variables. They are given to you from outside and they are not determined within the system. And c itself is determined using c is equal to a plus b y. Okay? b is the marginal propensity to consume. This is a macroeconomic model. Um, how will you, now you have to determine the values of y and c. So this is the model which has been given to you with these values that a is greater than 0. 0 is less than b is less than 1. This is nothing, b is nothing but mpc. Now, the two endogenous variables uh, in, in this system of equation that y is going to be determined within the system as it is there in both the equations and c. i0, g0, these are not the variables which are going to be determined within the system. So, exogenous variables are i0, g0 and endogenous variables are yc. Constants are a, b. So, how will you determine this? So, the best way is that you try to put everything, uh, all the like terms together. So, we'll take up all the endogenous variables on the left side of the equation and the, and the exogenous variable on the, on the right side of the equations or the constants on the right side of the equations in case that they are not with the endogenous variable. So, it is y minus c equals to y0 plus g0. Y and C are the only endogenous variable. They have been taken to the left side of the equation. And here it is minus BY plus C equals to A. This is there. Okay. So let me write it more clearly for you, which is 1 into Y minus 1 into C is equal to I naught plus G naught. And here it is minus b into y plus 1 into c is equal to a. Okay, so what you have is that this is the coefficient. So the coefficient are 1 minus 1 minus b and 1. This yc equals to i0 plus g0 into a. This is the way we have written it using the matrix form. Okay, let me just write it for you. It, it could be written as minus 1, sorry, 1 minus 1 yc. In case if I write this like this and here I have this i0 plus g0, it means that I have written it in the matrix form. So, it is 1 into y minus 1 into c is equal to i0 plus g0 and this is what your the first equation is. Similarly, you can write the second equation which is minus b1. So, minus b into y plus 1 into c is equal to a. Okay, this has been written in the matrix form. So, getting away with all of this. So, what do you have is just this. So, uh, in order to apply Kramer's rule, you have to check that this, this unaugmented matrix, that is 1 minus 1 minus b1, 1, this is square matrix, as you could see, this is a 2 by 2 matrix, okay, and other, you will check the determinant of this matrix, which is 1 minus plus b, which is 1 minus b, and this is not equal to 0. b is lying between 0 to 1, okay, it is not exactly equal to 1, so it won't be equal to 0. So, hence this determinant is not equal to 0, hence this matrix is an invertible matrix and you can, you can calculate uh, the, the, the solution of the system of equation using Kramer's rule in this case. So, what you have is that now what will you do is that you will try to superimpose this column onto the first column of the coefficient matrix and this is what you have done here in order to find out y, your first variable. So, 1 upon determinant a, determinant a is 1 minus b into this i0 plus g0 upon uh, i0 plus g0 minus 1 a1. So, you will just calculate uh, the determinant, so which is i0 plus g0 into 1 which is i0 plus g0 minus 
a into minus 1 minus minus a which is plus a so what will you have is basically y equals to 1 upon 1 minus b i naught plus g naught plus a this is the value for y similarly for c what will you do is that you will superimpose that you will superimpose this column onto the second column of the coefficient matrix the first column remaining unchanged so you will have what will you have is that 1 upon a which is 1 upon 1 minus b which is 1 upon uh, sorry 1 i naught plus g naught minus b a you'll just calculate this matrix so what will you do is uh, basically you'll multiply 1 into a which is a minus minus b into i naught plus g naught minus minus b into i naught plus g naught I've, I've not written it right here which is minus minus b into i naught plus g naught so what you will have is a minus minus b i naught minus b g naught okay so and because of this minus what will you have is a plus b i naught plus b g naught so it should be plus all of this should be plus okay so there's a mistake here is that fine so this is the value for c which you have from this so, so what you have done is that you have applied Kramer's rule and you have got the value of your two endogenous variables y and c